Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you four different side braids step by step for beginners. They are very easy to do and it's a great everyday hairstyle. So I hope you like it and let's get into it. So for the three strand braid, you're going to split your hair into three equal sections and just do it as good as you can. So you have the inside strand, the one closest to your neck, then you have the middle strand and then the outside strand. So take the outside strand, cross it over the middle strand so they switch places, and then take the inside strand, cross it over and into the middle, then take the outside strand, cross it over and into the middle. Again, take the inside strand, cross it over and into the middle. Take the outside strand, cross it over and into the middle. Again, take the inside strand, cross it over and into the middle. And you can already see the braid coming along. So just keep taking the outside strand, cross it over into the middle, then take the inside strand, and cross it over and into the middle. That is the only steps you have to do. So just keep braiding all the way down the hair until you reach the end. When you get to the end, then grab a tiny elastic and then tie the braid off. I don't have anyone that's clear, so mine's pink today. So what I like to do is to pull in the sides of the braid to loosen it up just a little bit and fan it out. I also like to pull in the hair on the side of the head and then also pull down some hair to frame my face. I do have my bangs clipped up so you could see what I was doing and that just frames your face very nicely. So just pull in the braid until it looks the way you like it. Just loosen it up. And that is a nice three strand side braid. So the next braid is a rope braid. Very easy to do, super quick. So first split your hair into two equal strands. And if you have any bumps, in your hair and then just smooth them out like this. So you have the inside strand and the outside strand. So now take your outside strand and twist it away from your face just a few times. And because you twist away from your face, you're going to twist these two sections around each other in the other direction. So towards your face. So basically take the outside strand and just cross it over the inside strand. Then take the new outside strand and twist it towards the back a few times. Then again take the outside strand and just cross it over the inside strand. Now you basically just have to repeat that. So take the outside strand, twist it a few times, and then cross it over the inside strand. Again, twist the outside strand and then cross it over the inside strand. So now just do that until you reach the end of your hair. When you reach the end of the hair, then just squish the two ends together. Grab a tiny elastic, and this time we're going blue. And then just secure the braid. And if you have done it correctly, then you can let go and it won't unravel. And like the other braids, you can just pull in the sides to Give it some more volume and just fluff it up a bit. 
and don't worry about these everyone has them if you have layers you will have a lot so just try and just like put them back into the braid you can pull the braid apart so just do it gently but just like put them back and hope for the best like that and then just drown it in hairspray then they will stay all day so that is a rope braid and I really like this one, it's so nice. So the next braid is a fishtail braid, which is very, very simple to do, but it takes some time. So if you're in a rush, don't go for this one. So to do the fishtail braid, you're going to take your hair and then split it into two equal sections, like so. And then you're going to take a small section from the back side of the outside strand and then take the small section, cross it over and add it to the inside strand. Then you're going to take a small section of hair from the inside strand and then take the small section and cross it over and add it to the outside strand and that is basically all you have to do so again take a small section of hair from the outside of the outside strand or like the back side and then cross it over and add it to the inside strand again take a small section of hair from the inside strand and then cross it over and add it to the outside strand. Again, take a small section of hair from the outside strand, cross it over and add it to the inside strand. Again, take a small section of hair from the inside strand, cross it over and add it to the outside strand. And it's going to take a few passes of hair back and forth before you can really see the pattern coming along. So again, take a small section of hair from the outside strand and then cross it over and add it to the inside strand. When you have to pick up a section of hair from one strand, you can see the hair in the middle here crosses. So if you take your pointy finger and your thumb and just pinch down on each side, you have locked the, the braid into place. So you can just let go of the the opposite strand. So now it's easier to just grab a section of hair and then cross it over. Again just pinch each side like this and then you can let go. And then grab a small section of hair and cross it over and add it to the other side. Again take a small section of hair cross it over and add it to the other side. So I'm probably gonna fast forward this just a tiny bit because it's just the same technique all the way down and it will take some time. So now you can already see the pattern coming along and the bigger sections you take, the quicker you can do the braid. And if you want a lot of details, you have to take tiny sections. So the bigger the sections, the quicker the braid, but less detail. So just figure out what you like. So when you get to the end, you have two sections and just squish it together. Then grab an elastic, this time it's yellow, and then just secure the braid. And just like all the other braids, I'm going to just pull in the sides of the braid. But you want to be more careful with a fishtail braid because it's, it's a bit more What's the word? Delicate. 
and this braid will loosen up more as you wear it. So don't, don't pull too much in it, just, just a little bit. And that is a nice fishtail side braid. So the next braid is a pull through braid. So get your elastics out. Normally I would just use a clear elastic or something that matches your hair color. Uh, but today it's pink. So the first step is to split your hair into two sections. Like so. So you have the back section and your front section. Then take the front section and split it into two. Like this. And then you're going to pull the back strand through. So you have one half of the front strand on each side. And then you're going to take an elastic and just secure the hair right here. And this can be quite difficult to do, so just put this in your mouth. So now you have two ponytails again. Now this is the front ponytail and this is the back ponytail. So again, take the front ponytail, split it into two equal sections, and then pull the back section through. And then take a tiny elastic and then secure down here. So now you have created a loop around one ponytail. So now we're just going to do that one more time. So take the front ponytail, split it into two equal sections, and then pull the back ponytail through like this, and then secure the two halves together at the back. So you can either repeat these steps and do it all the way down and then pull in the sides to fluff it up. But I like to do it after just a few. So I'm just gonna pull in the sides to fan out this braid. I'm not gonna do too much because I can always do that at the end. And then do it on the next one. Like that. So now you're just going to repeat that. So split the like the front ponytail, pull it behind the other one, or pull this one through, and then tie the two halves together. And again, just pull in the sides to fan out the loop. So again, just take the top ponytail and split it into two. Pull the back ponytail through. And then secure the two halves. And again, just fan it out. So now just repeat those steps until you reach the end of the hair. So now that we're at the end of the hair, you're going to have these two ends and you're just going to put them together and then take another elastic and just tie it around to secure them. 
and that is how to do a pull through braid and this braid is going to last you all day because it's only made out of elastics so that was four different side braids and let me know in the comments which one you like the best i hope you like this video and subscribe for more hairstyles